a little bit more even round today. A couple of bogeys still in there, but you eliminated those big numbers, didn't you? Yeah, um, I had two three putts. Uh, these greens are just really difficult. They had some pins and some really difficult spots, and uh, with the way the wind picked up uh, a little bit, it just uh, it was tough to get into the spots you needed to be in to, to have a chance to two putt. Um, I made some really, really good putts today. Um, that got me to where I had an under par score. Um, you just couldn't fire at any flags. I mean, every pin just seemed to be really, really difficult. Um, we had a great strategy today, and uh, we'll try to have the same strategy, just uh, passive aggressive, I guess is what you call it. And Zach, you and I talked a little bit earlier in the week about managing your emotions. Uh, you've been in contention a few times, especially late in the year here, and you kind of admitted that maybe you didn't handle the emotions quite as well as you would have liked, but it seems to me like you're getting better each time out. Yeah, you know, just getting more comfortable. Um, this is my second year out here, but uh, you know, I just I didn't really have a great year last year, and uh, I didn't really get in any good position to where I had a chance to win or even had a chance to have a really good finish. So uh, just having those that little bit of experience now, it just seems to really help me, and I feel like I'm in a really good spot uh, with my Lord and uh, just accepting what happens. You are in a great position. Certainly got to like where you're going to end up here going into the final round. We don't know. There's a few guys who got to finish yet, but you're right up there at the top. Um, what's your game plan for tomorrow? Do you have a number in mind or you think you need to go low or just kind of give us an idea what you think you need to do? Uh, based upon the way the scores have been, I don't think I need to go really low. Um, if, if it just happens to be to where I shoot a low score, um, I'm just going to go at it the way I've been going. Uh, just. Passive aggressive, I guess, just means just trying to hit it in the middle of the green, trying to make a 15 footer. And if you have a wedge in your hand, you have a good number with a, a good pin, just try to take advantage of that. But uh, pars are good. I mean, it, it just what it is what it is this week. And uh, just try to stay aggressive, but at the same time, just make aggressive swings, but uh, just passive targets. And then finally, last question, Zach. Um, there's a tournament within a tournament, and that is that obviously you're trying to win right now, here, this week, tomorrow, but you're also trying to get a PGA Tour card and a really good finish this week. Uh, we'll get that done for you. Um, does that going to come into play in terms of your strategy tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I talked to my uh, swing coach, uh, Jeff Jones, and uh, we looked back, you know, last week, and uh, I kind of felt like I, I needed to shoot a low number, um, but uh, it turned out, I mean, all I needed was four under on the weekend and I would have been a playoff. So just looking back, I mean, you just you just don't know what's going to happen and you just have to stick with your strategy and you just can't, you can't get off of your strategy or it just messes you up completely. So uh, I'm just going to try to stick with our game plan and uh, if, it, if it happens to be a, a good pin or a good number, I'll try to take advantage of it. But other than that, I'll just try to hit it middle of the green and try to make a long putt or just try to two putt even.